God, they loved her. As she walked among us, they, she has walked among them. And together with them, Lord, we, we share this great mutual feeling that we loved her. And we're here expressing our, our, our gratitude to you for her life. Mold us, Lord, and make us that we too, when we come to the end of the road, may be ready to meet you. It will help somebody. Now, as Brother Van was saying, since I came back in the message, um, he was saying that you just inherit things from your parents. And will I inherit this sickness from my parents? Now, this was a real big thing because, as I said before, my mom died, my sister died too, and my father passed away. So in order, mom, sister, papa. Well, you're my next papa too, so don't worry. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so coming, growing, father passed away. And this teacher, my, my first year teacher, told me, Gil, you're real lucky you live in. And that real hit in my head because why am I here? And after a few years now, this doctor wanted to diagnose me with tablet and all kind of thing. And he didn't tell me I'm going to get a child. He told me i going to be an old woman. So... Now I now those things when I was small, it um it didn't think of theophanies and those things. It didn't think of that. So come into this message now, realizing that are you willing to drop medication to go up there? Are you willing to look up to Jesus and look past symptoms? Because the day for um, Lestra Melville's funeral, you were saying, stop looking at symptoms. That catch me too because I, w I wanted to stop the meds, but I didn't know how. And I really stop any meds and I say, I heal, I heal, I really heal. But before that, I, I used to tell my grandmother, Ma, I, I heal in her. But then something tell me, how you could be healed and you still taking the meds. That was the progress. I wanted to make progress, but that meds was not making me see who God really was. So I said, so um, I, taken, I stopped taking it. And then my aunt said, um, Gil, you had to have real faith in her. No, I didn't take it as a bad thing, like putting down kind of thing. I, um, I went back to the mess because what she said, it sounded like God said, you had to be real sure who I am. So because you're going to get symptoms. You're going to get a big fight coming. Did enemy going to come? Are you willing and sure that God is God? So, the same issue of blood. I read it from Luke 8. And that time was in Lystra Melville's funeral. I got the revelation. Wait a minute. I had to stop taking tablets and then serum heal. So I don't, I, I catch it there. I was like, wait a minute, I had to stop taking tablets to really look to him. I say, wait a minute, by his stripes, we were healed, were healed. So in a sense, wait a minute, I had to look to he completely to get what I have need of and to actually and then another thing you were saying in one of these services, I, I was telling it to Sister Katyan because she was like, that is so me. Because you were saying you're hiding from other people to tell other people that you're healed. And you, you're hiding, you're putting them away. Because them, you're afraid they're going to say, kill, but you're healed, you're sick. You're still sick. So when I was spreading that to Katyan, she was like, that is so me. I said, me too. Me too. <laughs> so that is something I had to conquer. I mean, I've done it here, but within the family, with non-believers who really don't understand the message, to fight that, that, that I just, that's God. That God had to come inside me to fight. 
so after I stopped taking it um, I find when I used to take it I used to have a lot of symptoms angriness I still have angriness here but I still had the temper but I talk in real anger real depression suicidal thoughts those tablets is not the way is not the way people if you really want to fight you really have to look to God because to see God in my life and why I live in and them died I mean died we don't know if I don't know if they elected but to see that I live in why am I here is for this too to spread the, the word and know that God is really a healer and I just tell my cousin who is non-believers they believe me but they're not entirely in the message and I just spread I just tell them because they're miss Hindu all right but I just be glad to talk to them every time I go there I just always tell them about God and my whole head is just God like just tell them about God so I just want to thank you particular because rather than for this message otherwise we girls here we ladies we women would not be here as how we are with this feet divine feet conquering feet so thank you very much there's no trials in heaven and there's no trials in hell while you're here this is the place where you come you're in this physical body and you are going to be tested and tried and proven here to build your character and this is the place where we are molded into the image of Christ and now that is why God gives us the measure of light to understand that there's nothing that God does that is without reason and purpose. God has a reason and a purpose for everything. To every purpose in the heaven, there's a time and there's a season.